maybe we can start with Avalanche. So two things to look at here. The first is we can look at projects, sorry, not projects, multi-chain and Avalanche. This shows some aggregate stats on Avalanche. And so you see log occurrences here. This is the number of times events were broadcasted by specific smart contracts. So think of this as kind of an activity metric. And Trader Joe seems to be doing 26% of all these events that are being emitted. We have a bunch that are unknown. We have some that are coming from Avalanche itself. And then you have a few other projects here. So that quickly gives you an idea of like, what are the most active um, projects that are running on Avalanche? You can also see the number of daily transactions, which has been growing very, very fast. You can see the total amount of gas in USD terms that's being paid on a daily basis. And you can also see which projects have the most users uh, in terms of addresses, right, that are active. So this is pretty cool. You can also see a comparison between um, Ethereum and uh, Avalanche here. So you see the number of transactions, Avalanche and Ethereum, and then a ratio, it looks like Avalanche still has less transactions than Ethereum, but this could be an interesting one to um, monitor. And you can also see different smart money segments that are uh, active on Avalanche. So yeah, you know, you can also see how many Avalanche addresses are actually active on Ethereum. So there's a, there are some cool stats you can look at at a high level for Avalanche. The other thing that you can do is to switch network which you do up here. So if I switch network now, then I'm gonna see some of these be grayed out because we don't have them yet for this blockchain, for example, NFT paradise and smart money, but we do have some stuff here already. So you can look at hot contracts, for example, and you see what are the smart contract addresses on Avalanche that have the largest inflow in terms of capital. And so I see Pangolin, I see Trader Joe, uh, and I still, I, there are quite a few addresses that are still unlabeled here. And that's because, of course, we have to ramp up our own attribution efforts as well, uh, since this is a pretty new chain. But you can expect to see, you know, more coverage here. And at least now you know about these addresses and you can click through on them and try to figure out what they are. Uh, you can also change here. So instead of sorting by one hour inflow, you can look at one day or even seven days. So here's a big one, which I don't know what it is but you could try to investigate that a bit more. You can also here see the number of depositors or even the number of smart money depositors. So it looks like uh, the MIM and wrapped ether on uh, Trader Joe has uh, quite a few, uh, or has two smart money addresses, but quite a few depositors uh, in general as well. So that gives you an idea right away, like the mission of Nonsense is to surface the signal in blockchain data. And that's what hot contracts can help you do. We also have token God mode. So if I go to this and if I, you know, plug in some token, like let's say USDC.E. Okay, interesting. Not sure what the dot E is, but uh, maybe that's just a convention of naming tokens uh, on Avalanche. You can see the lovely uh, tokens on exchanges metric. Let me click this uh, out so you can see a bit wider. So you can see Trader Joe, Curve, Pangolin, Platypus, and so on. Again, this kind of orients you a bit uh, around like which exchanges are popular and gives you an idea of um, what people are, where people are actually trading on Avalanche, which is cool. And then you can look at notable wallets here. And feel free, by the way, to uh, ask to see another token here. I, I just picked USDC because it's a uh, an obvious choice uh, and a token that exists on most EVM chains. Uh, but you can see here, there's uh, the proxy for uh, USDC, which I guess is where you go if you wanna bridge back to uh, Ethereum. Or no, this is a token, my bad. This is where you would deposit your USDC when you deposit funds into Aave. That's what I would presume. So maybe there's some liquidity incentives going on for uh, Avalanche on, sorry, for Aave on Avalanche. Um, you can also see funds flowing out of Trader Joe, funds flowing out of Curve. And you can, of course, uh, look at the largest transactions. 
Blizz Finance. And you can also look at the top um, balances. So Aave has 30% of the USDC on Avalanche. Ben Chi has 15%, Blizz Finance, Trader Joe. This is actually like a pretty good overview just to get a sense of like the DeFi space on, on Avalanche. So this is pretty cool. And like, if you uh, haven't gotten around to using Avalanche yet, maybe this is a good place to start to get oriented around like what uh, protocols actually are being used, not just what you see people shilling on Twitter, but where the money is actually flowing. You can also look at other uh, dashboards, right? You can look at Wallet Profiler. So maybe I want to look at this USDC A token. Uh, and I don't think we have Wallet Profiler for token yet. No, we don't. This is coming soon. So actually, maybe this was not the best choice uh, to, to zoom in on. In fact, I think I'll maybe pick something else, maybe something from Hot Contracts. So let's look at this guy here. Um, and... Yeah, because this one just holds USDCE, not super interesting. You just see the token balances. Uh, okay, this one holds Melt, maybe also not so interesting. Let's see if there are some like counterparties uh, that we could look at in the background here. Yeah, these these uh, the wallet prof profiler is still pretty uh, stripped down, unfortunately. But uh, this is going to be improved over time. Keep in mind that we just launched Avalanche recently, and there's still some shipping going on to make sure that we have total coverage uh, on this. So yeah, this is, uh, this is a, a good thing to poke around on. Um, 